Hey everybody, what's up? So this new video is going to be all about oscillators and uh, the VIN or VN oscillator in particular. I guess I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry, dude. And uh, first thing we're going to do is take a look at how oscillators actually work. Then we can look at this particular circuit and uh, try to build it and see how it works. All right, so first things first. How do oscillators work? The basic principle is that we have uh, two circuits in series that loop. One of the two is a amplifier and the second is going to be a filter. So the amplifier naturally amplifies the frequency it receives and it's important that it doesn't phase shift it. And the filter obviously filters the frequencies and uh, just passes the single one that we want and also needs to not phase shift it. In our case, the amplifier is going to be a non-inverting amplifier with a gain of 2. Now a modification that I'm going to have to do is uh, switch the two resistors on the amplifier with a potentiometer to be able to finely tune the amplification because that actually matters a lot and um, it would cause the amplifier to either not work or to output an ugly square wave that we don't want. So after the modification, this is the final result. On the left we have the amplifier and on the right we have the filter. Now that we have our schematic we can proceed to build the circuit on a breadboard. Keep in mind that it's always good practice to keep the components tight together so that the strain inductances, resistances and capacitances aren't too much and don't alter the function of the circuit. First thing we do is uh, create the power supply. Because we need dual power supplies for the op amps we're going to try to cheat in this case and build it out of a single power supply. So I'm going to use a plus and minus 5 volts and to do that I'll use uh, 10 or 11 volts and then use an LM7805 to create the virtual ground. Adding a capacitor to smooth out the voltages in case of noise is always good practice. And after that we can insert our op amp, in my case an LM358, and connect it to positive and negative. After that we can add our potentiometer and connect it. And after that we can add the resistors and capacitors. Remember that the resistors have to have the same value and the same goes for the capacitors. Because I didn't have uh, 470 ohm resistors, I put a double 1 kilo ohm in parallel to make a 500 ohm resistor. At this point we can turn on our power supply and connect the oscilloscope. You can see there's nothing appearing at the output. So what we have to do is take a screwdriver and slowly increase the gain of the amplifier. Okay, so here you can see the oscillation started and uh, we have to be very careful not to increase the gain too much or we'll have clipping, but keep it high enough that it's stable and doesn't accidentally die. With the component values that I chose, the frequency is going to be around 2.5 kHz or something like that. The formula to calculate the frequency is very simple, it's 1 over 2 pi RC. With this circuit you can achieve too high of frequencies. 10 kHz is probably the maximum for basic op amps on a breadboard. In case of higher frequencies we need to use different circuits. So I think the result is pretty satisfying. One thing I should still point out is that this circuit is meant to be variable in frequency. By adjusting the value of either the two capacitors or the two resistors, the frequency goes up and down based on the formula. The problem with this is that not only the frequency changes, but also the attenuation of the filter. This means that the oscillator is very unstable and either stops oscillating when you increase the frequency or clips like crazy when you decrease it. So I decided to avoid this part and just try to make it stable and uh, functional. The objective of this oscillator was to make a capacitance meter, which hopefully I'll be able to show you in the next video. Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.